Hey y'all, welcome back to Cajun Country Living. After the wild ride we've had over the past few days, things are starting to calm down around here and we are so excited to be able to get back to our actual project. And we are so excited that we got some rain as well. So we are very fortunate that South Louisiana, I think, dispersed a lot of this rain over a big wide area. <laughs> Wildfire wise, everything's looking on up and up for us. So we are gonna get back to our project. Yep. We didn't give it about a quarter of an inch of rain, but hey, we'll take whatever we can get at this point. A little recap for y'all is that we started with this fireplace, I guess a week ago, right? I'm so confused on what day it is, really. I couldn't even tell you. Started working on this fireplace and got it framed up, but then we didn't know exactly what size fireplace we were gonna be able to get our hands on, so we went ahead and waited and stopped until we could get that fireplace here. So the other day we went ahead, loaded up, and went in the middle of summer, got laughed at when if we walked in the store and asked for a fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> but we did get one here. We got a wood burning and it is rather large, really. It's a pretty good size. I think it's perfect size for what we needed. It's 48 inches wide. I think it's 42 inches tall. We'll have to put a tape measure on it here in a minute and double check that, but I'm ready to go. Are you ready? Don't forget to oil your nail gun, folks. This nail gun was $100, and we have used this sucker since the beginning. Rafters, studs, you name it, we've done it. The first thing that we're gonna be working on is this little step down that's gonna go in front and wrap around the fireplace. Jim had gone ahead and cut these this morning because we have still been losing power here and there. It's only for a few hours at a time, but we thought we knew we had power this morning, so we went ahead and pre-cut some of this stuff. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we won't lose the power today. So the perimeter of this little step up that we're building, we're just gonna build it basically like a wall. Have a bottom plate, Top plate, world's tiniest studs. Pony wall? Pony wall. Puppy wall. This is smaller than a pony wall. Maybe a puppy wall. I don't know. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the other side, build it out, and then we can do the front piece. Introducing the Gardasol Rainproof Gazebo with Adjustable Roof. The ultimate outdoor oasis for your deck, garden, yard, or patio. 
Available in sleek black or pristine white, this 10 by 13 foot louvered aluminum pergola is a must have for any outdoor space. Experience unmatched convenience with this irrigated drain system ensuring rainwater is effectively managed. Their ergonomic labor saving louver handle allows you to effortlessly adjust the roof to control sunlight and shade, providing the perfect ambiance for any occasion. Crafted with premium materials and a sturdy structure, this pergola can withstand winds up to 65 miles an hour, ensuring durability that lasts for years. The powder coated aluminum frame and steel louvers are resistant to rust and corrosion, making it a reliable choice for all the seasons. Transform your outdoor area into a haven of comfort and style with the Gardasol Rainproof Gazebo. Get ready to indulge in the perfect blend of form and function. For more information on how to purchase, make sure to go to the link listed in the description below. Elevate your outdoor area with Gardasol today. You know what would make this a lot easier? You're lazy on me, are you? No, I'm just using my brain. <laughs> yeah, that one right there is a little crooked. Yeah, okay, we'll fix it. Now that you're like actually seeing what it's going to look like, what are your thoughts about it? I think that we picked, of course it's not nailed in place and all that stuff, but I think we picked the perfect dimensions. The front of this thing is, sticks out about 16 inches. It's going to be about 16 inches high. Now the sides are two foot by 16 inches high, but we did that because we wanted to put these big wood boxes on both sides of it. I think it'll look silly with some little narrow ones. I don't know why. It might not. No, I think so too. I think that we made a good call because I really thought about doing like narrow boxes all the way up to the ceiling, but we're just not going to burn that much wood. <laughs> so I think doing the shorter boxes, like you said, and then that gives us a place to put our items on top of the wood boxes as well. And we can put our homemade decor on top of those boxes. That's what I'm saying. I can't wait to put those up there. That's I can't look so either. Cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. So next step is what? Well, we got to get all this nailed into place and we didn't have 12 foot two by fours and what we needed to go across the front. So we had to add on to some and they got little twists in them. So we got to pull those twists out, make sure they're good and laser straight. Cause the last thing we want to do is walk through the door and see the fireplace do that number. No, no, no. And I don't want to do that either. Cause you'd want to fix it. And I ain't doing this twice. <laughs> so here's a view whenever you come in the door. Hey. <laughs> On the outside? Yeah, just like that. Okay. Go. Yep. Yeah. 
We decided to go ahead and run a few high tensile screws into these corners just to make sure that they were extra secure and really tight. We didn't want to take any chances on these, not that these ring shank nails would come loose, but we really don't want anything working loose over time. I put these marks on the wall whenever we were laying all this stuff out. That way that would give us a good reference to start from whenever we begin to square all this stuff up to put it in its permanent location. Now we need to beef this up. Over the years of weight from the wood and wood boxes, sitting, crawling, whatever may come, we want to be 100% confident that we added enough bracing to hold an elephant or in Lad's case, Santa. 